Scientists have long understood how a 10 kilometer diameter asteroid struck the Earth 65 million years ago, leading to the extinction of dinosaurs. But now there is evidence that further back, 3 billion years ago, a much larger meteorite hit a much younger Earth, one that was largely covered in water, and may have created the conditions that gave life on our planet a kickstart. In the Barberton Makonjwa Mountains in South Africa, Harvard's Naja Draban studied the impact of the ancient S2 meteorite, explaining in lectures that it could be studied in depth because tectonics had turned the Earth's layers upwards. So actually, if we can't, we can just walk over the rocks, and then it could just go over the hammer and just walk along its upwards. It was a pivotal moment that lasted thousands of years. After the meteorite struck, a colossal tsunami swept across the world. The heat so intense the top layer of the ocean was boiled off, skies darkened all over the planet, and microbial life near the surface was extinguished. But deep in the ocean, the tsunami churned up elements like iron, while the meteor impact added phosphorus. As ocean waters returned, organisms that feed off iron and phosphorus bloomed. It was like a fertilizer bomb for new life to evolve and thrive. Life is really tenacious. The author of Daydreaming in the Solar System says the Earth sustained far more major impacts billions of years ago, but the destructiveness wasn't all bad. For some kinds of single-celled organisms, that's a bad day. But for other ones in the future, it can set up the kinds of conditions that makes it uh, easier for that life to uh, continue and to propagate. Remarkably, the most devastating impacts on our planet may have made possible the evolution of life on Earth as we know it. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.